now that we have created our masterpiece, otherwise known as our Twitter page background image, it's time to show the world, or at least ways the Twitter world. Now in this video, we're going to configure, upload, and set up our newly created background image. So let's jump right on into it. Now as far as installing it, no problemo. We head on over here to settings, but before I do that, let me go on back here to home. I want to show you something. Come on home, come on home. Right here, you see the white there? That's what I was talking about in the prior video, that now that same pepper image is uh, has a transparent background. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick so that it blends in better with the green or what will soon be white. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just wanna show you the difference there. So if we had a, go on over to settings and picture, And then we will just browse for that particular image again. Pepper ping. Save. And of course, just having a white background on the page, can't really tell here. But let's go on back to home. And you can see, nicely blended. Of course, at this point, you don't know if it's a pepper or a cucumber, but since the name here is not cucumber picker, it's pepper picker, probably a good idea that it's a, a pepper. Okay, so I just want to show you that real quick. So now we go back to settings, now that I got that out of my way, and we go to design. And this is the current design, because you can just click on these guys here and it'll change the background pretty quick and easy for you. But that's not about us. We want to make things difficult, don't we? We want to change change it to a custom background image we made ourselves. That's right. So we go over here to change background image and just like we did with our picture, we browse for the background image that we created. And it is this guy here. Open. Now this tile background, what this is, our background image was, if you recall, 2048 pixels by 1707 pixels, I believe. This tile background is in case you were to have a background of say 100 by 100 or smaller, even 10 by 10, and you had this box checked, then it would tile or it would repeat that image over and over and over and over again. So if you had one solid background image, maybe it was the same color as your web page or your blogs, uh, maybe it's a, an off color of a particular color scheme, but it's one that's unique to your brand. Well, no problemo. You can go right here, take that, and that will be repeated throughout the entire page, but that's not for us. So we go here, I just wanted to let you know what tile background means. Click on save changes. And, and there we are. Okay, so that is our custom background image uploaded. Now that we want to make some changes to our sidebar, which is now black because of the choice that we made over here. Let's go here, click on change design colors. The sidebar, if you click on any of these boxes here, this color wheel comes up and we wanna make that white. I'm sorry, we just drag this guy here as you can see, it's changing the colors as we change it, kind of live. And then it blends in perfectly. You can see right here the, the dividing line. Let's get that to blend in perfectly with our background. Now, if you wanted to leave a little bit of definition there, that's cool too. And as far as the rest of these elements, the same thing holds true. The background, if your image was say 1800 by 1000, which I find that some images are, if you have a large enough monitor, you will see the background color at the edges of your custom created image, and this is what would be showing through. So we want to change that, so in case those of you that have a monster monitor won't see any background, you will think that our custom image is perfectly you know, in sync with the entire monitor that you have, no matter how big it is. Cool. And links, you can do the same thing. Click here, let's change the color to, oh, let's go with like red hot red or something like that. And sidebar border, let's make that red as well. That's this line right here. And I think that's pretty much it. The text looks pretty good. 
We'll leave that alone. Yeah, change has been enough. Then come on over here, click on Save Changes. And there we have it. We go on back home. You can see the text has been changed, uh, the background, the sidebar color, the sidebar border. Come on over to the home. And there, folks, is our custom image with our tweaks to our Twitter page. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on how to upload your custom image as well as make some additional changes to other elements on your Twitter page. I hope you learned something. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day.